Hi, my name is Hillary. I'm going to show you how to uh, get around the virtual chem lab to do some gas experiments that your teacher might have to you do. So over here in the gas properties, you could pick a, a preset experiment to do, um, which your instructor might have you do, but I'm just going to go straight to the lab here and uh, show you how to get around. So here's the lab. It's fairly simple. It's got gases, it's got a clipboard here, which will give you, again, preset amounts of um, moles and preset volume, preset temperature, whatever the different experiment needs. But if you want to set up your own experiment, you go over here to these pulleys and they will pull up different machines. This is a machine, for example, that will test how temperature varies with pressure and volume. So I pull it up and it's this crazy looking thing. It's not the one I need today, but I just wanted to show you there it is. And I'm going to use the balloon experiment. So I pull it up. I've got this pressure oven thing. And I can um, click on it. And nothing happens, but I need to click return to lab. And now it's in my lab. So now I can uh, hook up some gas to it. I'll take ideal one. And I will open the valve and start filling my balloon very slowly. So I... Turn that a little bit, slow it down a little bit, speed it up, close the valve. Okay, now I've got some gas in my balloon, some ideal gas with molecular weight of four. And I can zoom in on this oven thing and I can fix any of these uh, variables that has a slide bar by it. I can uh, fix and change the temperature during the experiment. So I can click, for example, on the two and type in a three and start with a nice round number 0.3 moles. 298K, I can change the units, centigrade, Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and atmospheres, I can also change the units. But I want atmospheres, but say I want to start my experiment with one atmosphere, one way to change it, to fix it, is to round. I hit the round twice and I've got 1.00 atmospheres. Now, say my experiment is to vary atmosphere for example so I'm going to uh, I can push up on this slide bar and uh, let the let the pressure increase but you have to be a little careful it takes some practice because the first click uh, of pushing this bar will just change it by thousands if I push up a little higher I can change it by hundreds if I can push it up a little higher a little tenths and the very highest I can change it by once so it looks kind of like this there it's changing by thousands, go up a little higher, changing by hundreds, by tens, and by ones. Then I take my finger off the mouse and it stops. Uh, another way to change um, the settings is to just uh, click on it and type, click and type, click and type, click and type, whatever. Uh, run through of changing pressure, temperature, or number of moles that you want. So what happens if my balloon breaks? Let's put a lot of moles in here and let's uh, increase the temperature. We can bring the pressure down a little bit. Yikes. Now let's bring up the heat. Okay, I lost my balloon. I can reset it and get a new balloon. So let's put some moles in there again. Uh, bring it back down to exactly one atmosphere this time, though I'm going to um, record my experiment in my lab book. So here's what the lab book looks like with one experiment in it. Uh, this is an old one, so I'm going to delete that experiment. Be careful, once you delete those words, you've got nothing. So uh, you want to make sure you don't delete everything all at once. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to run my experiment. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to run through some pressures. Let's see how I do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, let's see what... I'll stop it. Stop the experiment. Open the lab book. Open the file. And there's my results. I took a reading of volume. The temperature was constant. I took a reading of volume at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, nine, and 10 atmospheres. So I can copy this data here and paste it into an Excel program where I
graph or do whatever I need to do. Um, is there anything else we need to know to change out gases? I can zoom back in. I can return my tank and I can put a new tank up, say, uh, N2. And then do the same thing. Open the valve, fill up the balloon, close the valve, uh, zoom in, play around with my variables while recording uh, in the lab book. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Exit here and you're done. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.